Graduates, I welcome you to your graduation ceremony here at Guernick Academy of Medical Arts Radiologic Technology Program. You have all worked so very, very hard. All right, so those of you who do not know me, my name is Christy Foster Bowman. I am the Executive Program Director for Radiographic Sciences here in Northern California. This right here is my biggest class I ever had. So, um, yay! <laughs> there were um, many firsts with this class. Um, the first, the biggest I've ever had. The first, the highest scores I've ever had. So, congratulations. <laughs> I call all of you my COVID babies. Um, <laughs> What we've gone through, holy moly, 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 moly. So anyway, so back to the speech, you ready? Getting old. Big font, still, glasses. You guys are used to my glasses, right? All right, thank you all for being here today to show these special graduates you love and support them. The completion of the associate's degree in radiologic technology is as much theirs as it is yours. These graduates could not do this program without the love and support of the family. Whether it's a spouse, a friend, it's um, a mom, a dad, an aunt, an uncle, what these graduates have gone through with COVID has been extreme and having your support has helped them get through this program. So I appreciate it. Graduates, please stand and clap for your family. Say thank you. Thank you. These graduates have survived COVID, and I mean literally some of them survived COVID. The group of students went from a difficult program that was hybrid to a really difficult program that was fully online. That was rough. The feeling of being overwhelmed and alone was the comment we'd hear most. And I can tell you, faculty felt it too. We're used to seeing you guys two, three, four days a week. And we went to just virtual. It was difficult for all of us. We are now coming out the other side of this pandemic, knowing that we imaged the sick and the injured, provided comfort for those who were ill and scared, and hopefully touched the lives, making patients' exams better. You're graduating today, opening the doors to the best profession there is. Within the next week, you'll be called radiologic technologists. I'm so excited about that. <laughs> Don't take this lightly. As RTs, we know the hard work you put into your studies, not to mention your almost 2,000 unpaid clinical hours, right? <laughs> be proud, stand tall, and wear the RT initials after your name with confidence as you invest in the most important person, yourself. I know that you received the best education money could buy, right? <laughs> <laughs> Our team of educators have over 134 years of combined experience. With that, we shared as much as we could with you. And a lot of times, you didn't want to hear it anymore, correct? <laughs> as much as we tried to tell you, you're like, my brain's full. I can't take anymore. <laughs> All right. So let's take a moment and reflect on the journey you just took and the people who helped you achieve your goals. Therese, Mark, Marge, Rich, please stand. <laughs> yee <-hoo! laughs> These amazing educators have been there for you from day one and have bent over backwards to ensure you're able to walk and chew gum. Believe it or not, it does take practice, right? Do you remember the first few days of the program? Hi, my name is Christy Foster Bohm and I'm your student radiographer today. How many times did we practice that? <laughs> We still fumble, don't we? <laughs> the radiologic technologist doesn't roll off the tongue as easy as you would think. Also, I'd be very proud for any of you to form a cantaloupe melon barium enema on me. <laughs> right, Mark? <laughs> Rich, please stand. 
Oh, Rich. Rich and I have taught all of you physics of an electron, physics of a divergent beam, and the consequences of that. Um, we've also taught you PSP, PACS, to name a few. Rich, you and I have worked very hard to transfer our brain of knowledge into your brain of knowledge, and I think we did pretty well. So, I know. <laughs> Do you guys feel like you learned anything? Yeah? Are you guys still awake? <laughs> Are you still with me? <laughs> Thank you, Rich. How many times do I have to say that in lecture? You guys with me? <laughs> We're not calling anyone out. <laughs> Marge, please stand. All right, Marge. Marge has dedicated herself to teaching you the ethics, boy, oh boy, and how best to provide patient care. She also taught... Uh, the female's mammography and the best way to squish a booby to include how many pounds per square inch is needed for adequate compression. My thing is until the toes curl, right? Right, ladies? So give a round, round of hand, hand for Marge. Thank you. That's a very hard job. That's a very hard job. So Therese, please stand. Therese is my right hand man. Couldn't do this job without her. Definitely um, has stepped up and has been your militant style <laughs> that you all respond so well to. Um, couldn't survive without her. She is the master of radiation biology. She taught you the effects of radiation and how to protect yourself and others. So please be smart. Don't melt down any power plants like Dr. Bouchong as the effects are not good. You just met him. Also, your friends and family don't care about the amount of radiation is in a chest x-ray. Just keep that in mind. Although we find it fascinating, others do not. All right. Mark and Marge, stand up. This dynamic duo single-handedly evaluated every one of your comps in clinic, which totaled 1,716 exams, and average exam had, what, three plus images? Oh my goodness, totaling 5,148 images. That is a lot of images. Um, they helped you navigate through your clinical experience and was your support in the clinical setting. Thank you, Marge and Mark. <laughs> Gina, Abe, and Virtue. Gina, hey, Gina and Virtue, raise your hand in the back. Abe, stand up. <laughs> I promise this is the last group. These amazing people support the program. We cannot do this without them. Thank you for helping these students reach their goals and their dreams. I appreciate it. I am proud of each and every one of you for your dedication to our profession. Take the time and be kind to the next cohort of students as you are a student too. Don't forget how that feels. Lastly, call them eight. <laughs> Use your markers and don't put them on sloppy. I want them neat and tidy like a bow on a present. You know my rules. And don't overexpose your patients because that could be a loved one of yours, okay? Congratulations. I'm proud of each and every one of you. Be the change in the profession that you want to see. So, to all of you, I applaud you. Hi, this next award goes out to our clinical instructors. I just want to uh, recognize that without all of our facilities that uh, our program wouldn't be able to exist. The students rotate four times during their two years. And uh, without the support of the clinical instructors, uh, the staff, it would be very difficult to run this program. Last year, we weren't able to give out the award because of the pandemic. And uh, the recipient of last year's award from Sutter Roseville is Ann Babby. Can you please step up?
And our next award for 2021, unfortunately, Nick Knorr and Daya could not be here. He's at um, Dignity L Grove. We want to recognize Nick uh, for his contributions. And like I said, without support of all the clinical instructors, the time, they don't get paid any extra to do this and the time that they put in for the students to make sure that they get a quality education in the clinical site is immeasurable. And we can thank them uh, enough for all their hard work. So for Nick, um, thank you. Uh, if he, like I said, he couldn't be here, but I know that he'll appreciate the award and we thank him. He does a great job. He'll be retiring, I think, soon. So, I don't know the wall <laughs> so yes, we'll take a picture and send that to him. So thank you, Nick. It's my honor today to award what we call our Champion Award. This is for our clinical affiliates who really are advocates for Guernick. Last year's award recipient, Mr. Lolly, was not available to be with us today. So we will make sure that he gets that award. Thank you, Mr. Lolly. The following individual has been in the radiology field for at least about 15 years. He's advanced into CT and MRI modalities and was promoted at first to a lead technologist, then an imaging supervisor, and most recently, management position in Sutter at, at UBA. He has a wealth of knowledge in the field of radiology and is one of the smartest people I know. He has been and is a very big advocate for the Garnick Academy of Medical Arts. He has attended our advisory board meetings. He has helped with all of our questions regarding imaging protocols, helping us to teach our students relevant studies and procedures. He is patient, kind, and always willing to help at any time. He is extremely helpful to our students as an instructor and a manager. It is our honor to work with technologists who embrace the field of radiology like David Sandler does. He is part of the reason our Associate of Science degree in radiologic technology is as successful as it has been. I would like to present the 2021 Champion Award to Mr. David Sandler. graduates and friends and family. Um, I'm here to give a special thank you and recognition to one of our students, uh, one of our graduates, um, who has worked not only as a student, an intern, also as a work-study person here on campus. And I don't know that we would have been able to survive, quite honestly, <laughs> COVID without you, Megan. Um, we've gone through... Uh, a lot of changes, and Megan's been there every step of the way, um, and we just wanted to express our appreciation for all of your hard work. Yes, please come up. <laughs> for you. Um, I just wanted to say, if you, if you ever want a career in admissions, we have a home here for you, okay? Just remember that when you're done with radiology. Could not have survived without Megan, I can tell you. She has been wonderful. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Rich Lara, and I have been faculty here at Gernick Academy for just two years. I started about two weeks after you guys. So I asked for the opportunity to speak to you because it's my commencement too. I want to take you back to some of the experiences that you have probably had in the clinical site. Not maybe everything all at once, but I think that at least some of these would resonate with you. 3.15 in the afternoon, change of shift. Predictably, the printer comes to life and spits out 10 to 12 requests for portable exams, all on the same unit. 
doctor still hasn't called you back confirming it's the left, not the right ankle that they really wanted. Your department has been three to four patients behind since lunchtime, and you did get your lunch, but just barely. The computer is locked up, again, and somebody coming on shift has the audacity to smile at you and say, how you doing? <laughs> Sometimes the best we can do is roll our eyes and say, live in the dream. Today is the day the dream comes true for all of you. For the two years you've been with us and several years before that, today has been your dream since you chose this path. It's been quite a ride, hasn't it? I'm reminded of the first quarter and how quickly we started to develop trust and support for one another. I'm reminded of patient care class and the classmates who trusted you enough to help them in and out of a wheelchair without breaking their leg. And you trusted them enough to slide you from a gurney onto an x-ray table. I'm, re I'm reminded of supporting one another practicing positioning. I'm reminded of last summer where everyone was nervous about venipuncture, but by the end of lab, you were making your arms available. Come on, I've only been stuck nine times today. Talk about trust, huh? I'm reminded of study groups, group presentations, oral presentations, remediation, positioning simulations. In all of those scenarios, you counted on your classmates and they trusted you. The dream started to come true. Oh, it's not been easy, but you knew that coming in. And don't feel special about that. We're doing the same thing to the first year class. <laughs> Throughout these two, these two years, the faculty have been supportive to all of you, even when it didn't seem that way. We coached you and mentored you, chewed your butt when you needed it, praised you when you deserved it. From my position, I watched as you took possession of our profession and slowly became the technologist that you are today. I guided you. I taught you. I cleared some obstacles from your path to keep you moving forward. I cared about you, and I'm proud of you. As we leave here today, I'm aware that some of you will continue to serve the community that educated you, while some of you will travel to other parts of the country or the state and start your career there. I'm also aware that some of you will stay in touch with us, while others will leave and never look back. <laughs> but we're going with you. We will be that little voice in your head, helping you to make decisions on behalf of patient care. Christy and I encouraging you to use higher KV and reduce patient radiation dose. You'll hear the sage advice of Mark and Marge, helping you to understand how to conduct yourself as a responsible student. And those same principles will hold true to keep you out of trouble as an employee. And Therese will probably not be that little voice you hear, <laughs> but you'll hear Therese most clearly of all about radiographic procedures and about radiation protection, and all of us collectively about representing yourself and your profession proudly. Starting next week, your life will change again. Some of you will transition into new jobs, Others still looking for where you will fit in. What you'll find is our program has been entirely representative of the field. What you've been doing for the past two years is exactly what you'll be doing for the next 20. You'll wake up, you'll realize that you are now living the dream, and I will miss you. My best wishes to the graduates, 2021. Thank you. Our valedictorian this year is Mai Nguyen. Mai, come on up. She gets on the wall of fame. Nice. 
Now, we had an interesting situation where I had to go back through all courses. And I can tell you, it was so darn close between my and Evan Christensen. Hello. Good morning, family, friends, Gurnick faculty, and fellow graduates. After two long years, we finally made it. RT, Group 3, Class of 2021, congratulations. Today, the countdown finally strikes zero, and we get a chance to relax in the light of our hard work. When Christy told us during orientation that this program would become our lives, it would seem she certainly was not kidding. So let's recap. Endless hours of studying. Presentations. Papers. Long commutes to clinic. 10 hour days at clinic. Stressing out over sims. The dreaded physics exams. And my personal favorite, cramming last minute to complete 10 pages worth of positioning charts. It was a lot to say the least. Then, on top of everything else, the pandemic happened and school suddenly became flipped on its head. Classwork, class was now remote, and as amazing as it was that we were able to adapt to a changing world, it was certainly a challenge. I don't know how many times you heard our teachers say, please bear with me, or can you guys see my PowerPoint? <laughs> Instead of physically practicing how to position patients, we were using a mouse and keyboard, and let me tell you, Online patients are not cooperative. <laughs> but we persevered, and in the end, look where our tenacity got us. We've become well-rounded, motivated techs. And you should all be extremely proud of your accomplishments. We would also like to recognize the family and friends that supported us over the past two years. You have no idea how much you mean to us, your words of encouragement, your patience, your understanding. We appreciate you immensely and the vital role you played in our education. We'd also be remiss not to mention our instructors, the ones who led us, the ones who pushed us. Thank you, Therese, for your honesty and for all the effort you put towards making sure we knew the ins and outs of what makes a good tech. Thank you, Mark and Marge, for organizing our clinical rotations, for the hours of commuting, for answering all of our questions, and for keeping us accountable. Thank you, Rich, for the vast amount of knowledge you passed down to us. Your enthusiasm for radiologic technology is apparent, and your compassion is truly inspiring. And finally, thank you, Christy, our director, for stretching us to our limits, preparing us for anything, and for ensuring that we know more about radiographic physics than any single tech should ever need to know. <laughs> RT, Group 3, Class of 2021. It's been an honor partaking in this journey with you all and I know that you will go on to do great things. I have one last thing to say. The healthcare field is rooted in kindness. Take away everything else, and the heart of our job is to help others. And although I think most healthcare professionals begin their career with that in mind, I think it's sometimes easy to forget. We've all seen it. Workplace drama, snarky comments, behind the back conversations, egos clashing with egos, and silence in place of encouragement. Now, this isn't every site, nor every tech. I've seen some amazing acts of kindness out in the field, but I'd be lying to myself if I didn't acknowledge the bad with the good. So, as you go out into the workforce as a new grad, I want you to remember that you have the opportunity to be the difference. Remember why you chose this career in the first place, and don't become the tech that made you dread going into clinic. I implore you, the future of the rad tech field, wherever you go, to be kind. As cliche as it is, I'll leave you with this quote from the legendary teacher, All Might. Remember why you started down this path and let that memory carry you beyond your limit. Thank you. Okay, we're getting there, y'all. Um, my name is Margie Gorthy, for those of you that don't know me, and I came to Gurnick to teach mammography. They started the mammography course in... Uh, 2019 was it? I think it was 2019. And I started there and then I told Chris, I go, hmm, I kind of like this. I'll stick around for more. So um, uh, I just wanted to talk a little bit about what these 18 students have accomplished. 
um, they have passed a 40-hour didactic course in mammography with one lab. They had maybe 90 minutes to spend with a model patient to get an idea of what they were going to do when they went to their clinical setting. They went to their clinical setting after passing the course, and they all passed the course, and they had to perform 100 mammograms, a multitude of quality control tests. They had to sit with a radiologist to discuss at least 10 interpretations and to participate in special procedures. I, as a manager, an ex-manager of radiology, I would not hesitate to hire any of these graduates. I'm very proud of them. Um, so um, I want to acknowledge them and bring them up here and hand them their certificate of completion in mammography. So the first one, Heather Alfson. Sharice Albino. <laughs> Joey Poivis. Shelly Aubrey. <laughs> Natalia Ritikoff. Megan McGrew.
And last, but definitely not least, Shelby Rookie. <laughs> It is my honor to have taught computed tomography to 15 of our graduating students. Each year the field of CT becomes more advanced as computer technology and engineering advancements move the design of new scanners and the demand of this imaging modality increases. The requirements from our certifying board and registration board are of the American Registry of Radiologic Technologists for this specialty includes at least 16 hours of structured education to include patient care, safety, image production, and procedures. This includes contrast administration, protocol considerations, anatomy and cross-sectional imaging, and post-processing of CT images. Our CT course has prepared these students with 40 hours of instruction, exams, discussion, and various assignments. Most of our CT students have rotated through a CT department and have begun cataloging the required 25 different procedures with 125 repetitions necessary to show their competency and allow them to sit for this advanced certification in computed tomography. This will open many doors and fill the need in the field of radiology for qualified CT technologists. I am confident that all of these students will be an asset to their organizations and will have an exciting and rewarding career in the field of CT. I would like to present each of the 15 students with the ASRT module completion. Adriel Alcantara. <laughs> Evan Christensen. <laughs> Shams Dadger. <laughs> DV Dollywall. Rayana Dominguez. Yeah. Tina Du. Yeah. <laughs> Martinez Geiger. Elia Golove. <laughs> Daniel Nunez. <laughs> Isaac Ramos. Todd Sally. <laughs> Moby Shaw. Jared Van Boning. Yeah, yeah. 
Logan Wise. And last, but definitely not least, supposedly, <laughs> Sir Ford Boy, Logan Wooderson. <laughs> hey, welcome class of 2021. Sharice Albino. Adriel Angelo Alcantara. <laughs> Heather Alfson. <laughs> Shelly Aubrey. Evan James Christensen. Shams Dadger. <laughs> DV Dollywall. Rayana Dominguez. <laughs> Tina Trung Du. <laughs> Dolores Dominique Galvin. Martinez Valdez Geiger. <laughs> Ilya Golove. <laughs> Stephanie Holgan. <laughs> Mai Huen. Rom Lund <laughs> Stephanie Maduli <laughs> Megan Elizabeth McGrew Win. Daniel Nunez. <laughs> Nicole Lynn Orr. Anne Serene Villanueva. Yeah. Joey Poilvez. Yeah. 
Isaac Clemente Ramos. Courtney Ann Robinson. Shelby Rookie. Natalia Igorievna Ritikov. Tude Saley. Moby Shaw. Jared Van Boning. Yeah. Lauren Willer. <laughs> Logan Wise. Hannah Wong. Yeah. Logan James Wooderson. Yeah. Good morning. That was terrible. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so I'm going to start by saying I am incredibly proud of this particular class. Um, I remember, and, and behind the scenes here, I remember when Christy and I were talking about how big of a size of a cohort she wanted to bring on. Now, you need to understand something. We've had over 200. 250 applicants for 33 people here. So what that tells me is you fought. You fought for this spot. You fought to be here, and you certainly earned today. So continue that fight. As you know, we faced one of the most challenging times in modern history, human history. Our entire world changed in what seemed to be overnight. Families, communities, nations were all impacted due to the COVID-19 pandemic. More specifically, healthcare providers were forced to rethink how they delivered quality healthcare while combating the spread of this virus. Although it has been difficult, I am proud to say that you, Gurnick students, responded selflessly. You assisted frontline workers, and you certainly helped with combating the external enemy with rigor. Your bravery and dedication is nothing short but of heroic, and it should never be forgotten, and it should never go unnoticed. And for that, you have our gratitude. Thank you. So with that said, pivot is the most appropriate word to describe 2020. So why, you might ask, simply put, you all had to quickly pivot your approach to completing your education and be on, vir on a virtual platform and do that while going to clinical rotations. You also had to pivot your personal lives amid all the pressure to perform as healthcare workers within the field. You displayed tremendous tenacity and poise. And you did, it, you did so with a smile on your face. You didn't complain. Okay. 
Okay, maybe a little bit of complaining. <laughs> maybe a little bit. But I'll tell you what, you jumped in. You jumped in both feet. You didn't look back. Now that 2021 is here, the word for this year is triumph. I believe that our future in healthcare is bright with all of you in it. Many of you had extensive training due to the pandemic um, that many years before you or other generations before you never had. I am sure everyone by now knows how to properly put on PPEs, how to discard them. Heck, you're probably still dreaming of how you certainly do that, but I will tell you that um, that type of training you will never forget. You will use it to continue forth and make tremendous strides in the, our healthcare system and this generation. You will make those changes for our healthcare system moving forward in the future. Graduates, although you achieved a lot, please do not forget who supported you through this journey. Even more than ever, your support system deserves your praise through this unprecedented time. They too had to sacrifice and, and definitely invest in your dreams and aspirations. So let's take a moment to thank them, your friends, your family, and your community. So thank you. I'm gonna take this opportunity to also thank the faculty, the staff, everyone behind you. Um, a lot of back, behind the scenes chatter. I will say that they sacrificed too. They wanted to make sure every single one of you made it to this point. So thank you faculty and staff. And finally, permit me to give you parting words of wisdom before we close out the ceremony. One, learn to embrace perfect imperfection because no one's perfect. Two, the simplest, most precious gift that you can give someone is time, your time. And three, the last piece of advice I'm going to say is put down your cell phones, be in the moment, because tomorrow is not guaranteed. I know your patients are expecting it as well, so be in a moment with your patients. So, and now, the moment you've all been waiting for. Graduates, please rise. As the campus director of Guernic Academy of Medical Arts in Sacramento, and upon the recommendation of your faculty, I hereby pronounce you to be graduates with all honors, rights, and privileges thereon too. Graduates, you may now move your tassel from right to left. Congratulations, class of 2021. <laughs> Folks, I would like to say um, it's been a tremendous honor to present tonight, or today, I should say, where, what day am I in? Um, but I just wanna give the graduates one more round of applause through all the trials and tribulations of this particular year. So if you can just help me by standing up and saluting them one more time. <laughs> 